Indie filmmakers today are using their iPhones for a variety of tasks in the field as their all-in-one audio and video recording device. When you need multiple audio recorders for a shoot, indie filmmakers can use a mobile device paired with a microphone to record the different audio sources. This presents a few challenges in the field. You'd have to press record on all devices at the same time or have someone go around and press record on each device whenever you wanted to start and stop recording. And how would you know if each of the device's audio is set correctly? With ClipMic Digital 2 and Apogee's Meta Recorder app, indie filmmakers can control and monitor multiple microphones wirelessly from one device. Let me show you how. Hi, I'm Gogo with Apogee. In this video, I will show you how to use ClipMic Digital 2 and Meta Recorder's shared function to remotely record and control multiple microphones on your iOS devices. First, you will want to check for a strong wireless network connection. This is so the devices will properly communicate. If there is no wireless network connection available, make sure all your iOS devices have the Wi-Fi turned on and say, not connected. This will create a peer-to-peer -peer network for the devices to communicate together. Anytime you use your iPhones for audio and or video capture, enable Do Not Disturb mode in the control center. Open the Meta Recorder app on the main host device you will use to control the other satellite devices. Go to settings and make sure all unlimited recording is enabled and prevent screen lock is selected. Select the Scenes icon down at the bottom left. Select the Scenes back arrow as we will be creating a new scene. Select the plus icon. Name your scene Meta Recorder Pair. Keep all the options on their default setting except the last one. For input name, roles, name this Input 1. Select Create. Select the Link icon. In the linked recording sidebar, you have two options. Use as master recorder, use as satellite recorder. Select master recorder. This will allow you to listen and control the recording and label the recordings with metadata from the main device. Go to the second device and select the link icon. Select satellite recorder as the option. Your main recorder screen now shows both audio devices connected. Notice on both devices, the scene name is the same. Select scenes on the second device. Select the information button, the I in the circle. Go down and select input name, roles, and change this name to something more specific to your recording workflow. Let's use input two for now. Repeat for each additional iOS device running the Meta Recorder app. Once you have set up all the devices and place each clip mic where it needs to go, you are ready to record. Connecting a pair of wired headphones to your primary device will allow you to monitor each device's microphone audio without any potential audio feedback. Select the headphone icon next to each device to listen to the device's audio. Remember to keep your device's mic level in the green. If you are noticing they are consistently going in the red, lower the mic volume down. You also can record and add markers in the waveform from the main device. Hit record when you are ready. All devices will begin recording. Hit stop to stop recording on all devices. To pause the recording, hit pause. This will keep all of the recordings on one take. From the main device, you can label your favorite takes and assign keywords to individual takes. You can also select the markers you made when you recorded and add a more descriptive text for titles either while you're recording or after the fact. Working with wireless audio can be tricky depending on the devices and location, but don't worry if your devices go out of range or lose connection. All of your audio is still being captured perfectly on each device and will seamlessly sync in post-production. When you are completely finished with your recordings, you will eventually need to transfer each device's recordings to one device where you can store them on a hard drive for later editing. 
Here is the process for sharing your scenes in the Meta Recorder app. There are a few ways that you can share your recordings. You will need to repeat this process on each device that you used. One way is to hook up your iOS device to your Mac. Click on the device in the Finder window. Go to the information bar, select Files. Find the Meta Recorder app icon and click the Chevron to open the Scenes folder saved on the device. Select the scene you want, then drag it to either your desktop or an external drive. We recommend creating a new folder on an external drive to store these files. Eject the first iOS device in the Finder window. Then connect and repeat this procedure for the rest of the devices you use to record with Meta Recorder. Another option is to share these files through the Meta Recorder app. Select the Scenes icon at the bottom, then the Scenes back arrow on the left. Tap Select in the right corner and select the scene you want to share, Meta Recorder Pair. You can select multiple scenes to export, but for this tutorial, we will just select one. Your selected scene will have a blue check mark next to its name. Tap the Share icon, and you have three options. Sync to Dropbox, Export via Email, and Export to Other. These are all great options to move your files, whether you have access to all the devices at once or you are recording on someone else's device. With this function, they can easily send the file later. For this tutorial, we are going to use the third option, Export to Other. Select this option and you have a few different ways to share. To a person in iMessage, or in this case, we can use AirDrop. With AirDrop, make sure both your iOS device and Mac have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. Tap your device in the Favorites menu or select AirDrop and select your device there. Once you have AirDrop your file to your Mac, it will show up in your Downloads folder. Do the same for the other devices. After you have all your files airdropped, make sure to unzip them if they didn't automatically unzip. Then move these files to the external hard drive folder. Now your scene files have been shared and stored to an external device. You are ready to begin editing. Today's indie filmmakers have the option of using the devices in their pocket to capture and record sound for their videos. Using ClipMic Digital 2 with Meta Recorder on multiple devices helps you capture crystal clear audio from a variety of sources. Take advantage of the metadata options to add descriptions and labels to your various takes, which will save you time during the organizing and editing of your project. A little planning and setup in production goes a long way. Want to learn more tips for capturing great audio? Visit ApogeeDigital.com or click the link in the description.